Hey guys, today I want to show you two ways to sync audio and video in DaVinci Resolve for iPad. The first method involves using the sync bin in the cup page, and the second method, though some might consider it a hack, involves using the edit page, which is hidden in the current UI. Now I'm going to show you how to access it, but you will need a connected Bluetooth keyboard. In fact, I recommend using a keyboard anyway, because Resolve has so many shortcuts that will help you work faster. If you're interested in learning DaVinci Resolve from the ground up, check out my full six hour training using the coupon code in the link below. So with that, let's get started. With DaVinci Resolve for iPad open, open the project manager and create a new project and give it a name. The empty project opens into the cut page. Tap the import button, then tap import media. In the Files app of iOS, I created a folder called Resolve Project Files, containing various folders of media. I'll open this folder, tap to select the files I want, then tap Open. Resolve will ask you if you want to change the project frame rate to match the imported video clip. In most cases, you'll want to tap Change. My clips are imported and appear in the media pool. This video clip was shot with the Pocket 6K camera in the Blackmagic RAW codec and the uncompressed stereo audio file was recorded with a Zoom H6 recorder. To sync these clips, I'll select them and tap the Sync button. A window appears that presents different syncing options. I'll tap the audio icon to sync via audio waveform, then tap Save Sync. When clips are synced, they appear with a sync badge in the upper corner of the thumbnail. The next step is to mark the portion of the video clip that I want to use in my project. I'll load the clip into the viewer, then scrub the playhead to just before the first note of the song, and press I to mark an end point. I'll mark an out point at the end of the song. To add it to the timeline, I'll just drag and drop it. A timeline is automatically created matching the number of tracks in the clip. With the clip in the timeline, I'm able to scrub it and play it with the reference audio track from the camera. However, I want to sync this clip with a high quality stereo audio from the recorder. To do so, I'll locate the Sync Bin button and tap it. In this window, you'll see the video clip and the reference audio in track 1 and the synchronized stereo clip in track 2. The stereo audio is in perfect sync alignment with the video and by dragging on any playhead, you'll be able to see and hear the synced relationship. I'll move the play to the start of the clip in the timeline, then tap the Angle 2 icon in the sync bin. This will load the stereo audio clip into the viewer. The current playhead location in the sync bin is at the exact point in time as the video playhead in the timeline. So the starting point for the audio is spot on, but if you look in the scrubber bar below the viewer, the currently marked out point is only 5 seconds from the endpoint, point, and it needs to be at the end of the clip to match the duration of the video clip in the timeline. I'll move the playhead to the end of the last note in the song and press O to mark an out point. To edit the stereo audio into the timeline, I'll tap the Place on Top button in the toolbar. Then go back to the beginning of the timeline and play the clip back to check for any sync issues. Sounds great! Now I don't need to hear both the reference audio and the stereo audio play out of my speakers, so I'll mute the audio for channel 1 by tapping the speaker icon. To exit the sync bin mode, tap the timeline button. Now if we're being honest here, that's one convoluted way to do what should be a much simpler operation. And it is if you're syncing in the edit page. The problem is, Resolve for the iPad does not have an edit page. Or does it? With your attached keyboard, press Option Command K. This command brings up Resolve's command editor. In the right panel, scroll all the way down toward the bottom of this window. You're looking for a command set labeled Show Page. Tap the disclosure triangle to reveal a list of all the pages you would normally see in the desktop version of Resolve. Tap in the keystroke field next to Edit, then type Control 2. Tap Save, then close the window. Back on the cut page, press Ctrl 2 on your keyboard, and just like magic, the edit page icon appears at the bottom of the UI. Tap it, and you're now in the edit page.
Before I add the clips to the timeline, I'm going to assign the stereo file a color so that it stands out in the timeline. I'll drag the video clip into track V1, then drag the stereo track below it into track A2. Using my Apple Pencil, I'll drag a marquee around the clips to select them, tap and hold, then choose Auto Align Clip based on waveforms. The stereo track auto aligns itself with the reference audio in track A2. I'll do a quick sync check by playing back the clip and mute the reference audio when I'm sure that it is. If I want to reprioritize the audio, tap and hold on the track and choose Move Track Up. While nothing is stopping you from continuing your work in the edit page, you can jump into the cut page whenever you want and do your editing there if that's where you feel more comfortable. As you can see, the stereo audio clip is fully synchronized here in the cut page and retains all of its attributes, including the clip color. So there are some tips for syncing your clips in DaVinci Resolve for iPad. So what do you think? Do you use Resolve for iPad? Do you want to see some more tutorials on Resolve for iPad? Let me know in the comments. And thanks for watching.